Welcome back to the channel, you guys. We have a brand new POV perspective video for you guys today. We're starting off here in the 2020 Cadillac CT5V. Okay, so quick stats for you guys, 360 horsepower and 405 pound-feet of torque out of the three liter twin turbo V6 in the front there under the hood. Now, contrary to popular belief, or I guess this is what some people thought when the car was initially released, was that this was supposed to be in some capacity a replacement for the CTSV, which of course has the uh, C7 Corvettes big supercharged V8, but that is absolutely not the case. As I just mentioned, it's got a V6. So clearly not the replacement for the CTSV, but it is a very capable V car. This one is specced with all wheel drive. Uh, if you don't spec the all wheel drive, it is rear wheel drive. And we're just gonna go for a little bit of a drive today. It does have a few driving modes, uh, tour sport track, and then there's snow and ice. We're gonna keep it in track mode. Uh, it's got GM's Magna ride and we've got manual mode engaged and let's see how it performs. a little wet outside but traction has not kicked in it's got uh, Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's all the way around uh, so traction's quite nice and I've found that the rear end tends to step out a lot more quickly than the front begins to push which is a great characteristic in an all-wheel drive car. So downshifts definitely not as responsive as upshifts. Upshifts though, however, are extremely precise. This is the new 10 speed that has been basically co-developed with Chevrolet and Ford. And I believe it is, maybe the tuning's a little bit different, but I'm pretty sure it's the same transmission that is used in both the C8 Corvette and the new GT500 Shelby. As you guys can see on the center screen here, which is in fact an option, uh, I have currently, it's showing our boost pressure, which is pretty cool. It's got a factory boost gauge there you can throw up. There's a G meter as well. And then this is really cool, the ELSD coupling in the rear. So it actually shows you in real time how much that rear electronically controlled mechanical limited slip differential is actually locking up <laughs> in a percentage there right in front of you, which is super cool. So I'm gonna try that out. Uh, obviously my eyes are going to be on the road, <laughs> but you guys can see what it's doing uh, as we go through these corners here.
All right, you guys, hopefully you enjoyed that quick behind the wheel perspective. I, I really wish we had access to a track for this car, not because this is Cadillac's best ever offering that would do the best on track, but it's just, it is so good here on the street and I never find myself putting it really in tour mode at all. The magnetic ride is just, uh, it's really, really good. Uh, so I just always keep it in track, which most of the European stuff is way too stiff when you put it in track on the street, but it handles so well. So if you guys like this POV, definitely check out the full review where we break down um, all of the features in the car and I give you my full thoughts on the driving experience. We'll go over the details on the interior and everything like that. But uh, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit us up on Instagram at Roads Untraveled uh, where you can see what we're filming on a day-to-day -day basis. And until next time, hope you enjoyed the CT5V.